Are you a Pokemon master? And I don't mean someone who's just beaten the in-game Elite Four. Anyone can do that. My little brother has done that in many games, many times. I mean someone who's able to actually beat other real people, other real Pokemon trainers. If you're someone who's either A, a beginner, B, a veteran returning to like help raise their skill level up a little bit, or even someone who already knows what they're doing, I believe I can help you. You see, here's the thing guys, a lot of channels will only help out one of those three groups. They'll help out the noobs, increase their skill a little bit, however it's usually just not enough for them to actually like get anywhere. Some people only help out the middle group, and some people only help out the top guys, kind of limiting their audience. I believe over my channel I can help out any of those three groups. I can, I can take you on a whole curve, I can take you from the noobs and raise you all the way up to becoming great trainers. I can analyze any metagame, whether it be like OU, doubles, BGC, monotype, whatever you want to call it, and present it in a way to any kind of trainer, whether it be a noob or someone who already knows what they're doing, and present you strategies that will help you win on any level, whether it's bottom of the ladder or up at a tournament. Because in honesty, in my opinion, Pokemon comes down to three things. And those three, t these three tips will work in any kind of metagame, whether it's OU, Showdown, 1v1, Balance, Hack Bonds, VGC. They work because they're pretty generic. You can apply them to anything. You can apply them to anything. I'll go over them in kind of some little detail right now. The first one is identifying individual Pokemon and kind of looking at what each one can do. Let's say you look at Greninja. You can see the different kind of sets he can run. You see what he's weak against, and you see what his good teammates are. The second step is looking at your team as a whole. What will your team lose to? What is your team good against? What are some things you can add to your team without limiting all its benefits? And the last thing to do, and I think this is the most important one, is identifying the opponent's team. Picking apart their Pokemon and seeing what they are going to try to do, what their win conditions are, and what they have to counter your Pokemon. And over my channel, I offer great advice on how to do any of these three things in almost any metagame like I've said before. So if you want to get started, head over to my channel. I have a little bit more information to talk about my experience. You guys might be questioning, oh, what does this guy know? He may not know anything. I'll go over it right now. If you want to go to the video right now, or go over to my channel right now, uh, click the link if you want to go there now. If okay, a little bit about myself now. I've been playing Pokemon since uh, right around when Gen 4 first came out. It's about when Sinnoh came out. I've been playing competitively since three years ago, I guess, when, like, when X and Y came out. That's when I started playing competitively. I learned the whole metagame, like OU, and I did tournaments with my friends. I did a whole lot. I was pretty active on Showdown. I actually got to like 73rd in OU. Uh, those were my glory days. Once Oros hit, I kind of started to slow down a little bit. I still played and did a lot of like analysis, helping people out. And even to this day, I still coach, and like obviously I have this whole YouTube channel with lots of videos. I, I keep up with the whole meta games. I keep up with multiple of them, like Monotype. I'm very active in the group chat for that, or the Discord chat for that over in Showdown. I'm, I'm still playing a lot of doubles OU. That's my, those are my two favorite meta games right now. I do mostly doubles and Monotype analysis right now. However, if you guys request anything, I'm more than willing to do any kind of video on any kind of like any kind of tier, like whether it's BGC, OU even. I do a lot of OU analysis actually right now as well. I've been having a lot of fun reading those guides, talking to a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I, I've done a lot of different stuff. I definitely have the credit credentials to do this stuff. Um, I've been 73rd in OU. I've won several tournaments and like stuff like Ubers, Little Cup, 1v1s. 1v1s are a lot of fun. But um, yeah, guys, if you're someone who wants to get into Pokemon competitive play for the first time, or someone who just needs a new guide, or someone who wants to try to like get coached up by them, come check out my channel. I'm more than willing to help out any of you guys individually. Just ask a comment in any of my, any of my videos. And I'll get back to you very quickly. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really have for you guys. If you want to go check out my channel, I have a lot of videos. I put out at least four or five videos a week. Um, there's some there's some playthroughs and stuff like that. However, there's a lot of analysis I think you guys definitely need to check out. So, um, click the link to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this ad and sticking with it.